Um, this is going to be a short, shorter video because one, uh, this is not my usual setup. You, you would notice that everything is just like slightly shittier than my usual setup. I am not in my house. I don't know, I'm, I'm not using my usual place. I am now currently in my apartment. Um, and yeah, and there are a lot of noise here also. I don't really like recording here. And the second part is because the I don't have a lot of things to say about the NS line. I think they are just an IEM that exists in the pool of all of IEMs. That's the TLDR. The TLDR is also that if you're looking for a neutral sound, natural type of presentation, you're not getting it from here. Um, yeah, you're not getting it from here. Uh, for $169, I think you can get something better if you're going to get a V-Audio L4. Get the V-Audio L4. If you only have $169, just suck someone off and get the extra money for the V-Audio L4, in my opinion. But if, you're only, if you don't care about the drawbacks of the... Um, BGVP NS9. I think it's actually a pretty good buy if you're if you're if you don't care. But if you don't care, why would oh, why are you watching this video? You just don't care and just buy buy just don't care and buy shit. Okay, I guess that's the TLD of this video. For build quality, I think they are built very well. They are made out of metal. BGVP always does this. They they build things correctly, I guess. When all other chi fi, stupid ass chi fi AMs do this cheap ass resin type of build, low budget cheap ass resin type of build, BGVP actually care about their build. They, they made this is made out of metal. The wire is much, much, much better than the their old, usual crappy wire that's very stiff very thick and fucking useless this wire is a bit more softer i guess it's still thick it's still bgvp like you you would know but they're okay i guess they're also mmcx i uh, which means superior comfort superior everything <laughs> And yeah, um, you also get a lot of things like these ear tips and filters and case and warranty and manual because you always need manual if you want to fucking buy an IEM because all IEMs need fucking manuals. So yeah. Now for how they sound. I think the BGVP NS9 sounds. Let's get to the bass first. The bass here is. I don't like the bass. The bass is like dumbass type of bass, because it. These have nine fucking drivers in it. The BGVP. This is a hundred and sixty-nine dollars, and it has nine fucking drivers and two dynamic drivers and seven. Eh, no. It consists of two dynamic drivers and seven bounce armatures. That's fucking dumb, in my opinion. I I I think they are. They, it's too much, in my opinion. They are. They are trying to do too much. They are, they are trying to cram a lot of drivers. They are trying to steal the market of TRN and KZs because uh, reasons, I guess. And if you like. KZ's sound, if you like TRN sound, there you, you might like this. You might like this. This might be a good upgrade. That's <laughs> that's actually pretty un unique because what sucks in KZ's, which is mostly the coherency, also sucks here. And if you don't care about the coherency of an IEM, if you love that type of big, boomy, like different type of bass, you might like here because there are two dynamic drivers here 
and I can I the first three minutes like it's not even three minutes if the first minute I listen to this I know the difference of the transients of the two dynamic drivers because they are so fucking stark the difference is so fucking stark when I listen to Spanish Harlem by Chesky um, the, the strums of the acoustic bass guitars, you would notice the difference of those two drivers. When you get to lower frequency, it gets boomier, it gets slower. And it's higher frequency, a bit, a bit slight, slightly higher frequencies. Though still very low frequency. It's a bit more tighter and a bit more pleasant, I guess. So yeah, it has a very impactful like boomy type of bass but it's not the most pleasant one in my opinion definitely not um the texture got a lot of the texture got clumped up by that boominess of the dry of the of the bass of sub bass so i don't really like the bass but if you like the extra boom the extra decay uh, extra i don't know extra things you <laughs> you might like from a lot of TRS or KZs you might you might actually like the be the, 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 the bass here. I know some people who really like the bass here, but definitely according to our standards this is a no. As at least to my standards. I don't know if Jason actually liked the bass, I don't know, he's fucking weird. Okay for the mid range, I it's it's definitely colored. It's you you, you notice the deep the dip in the V shape type of presentation. It's 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 nothing much. It's nothing. Nothing is very wrong here. It's 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 just okay, I guess. Just fucking fine. Um, yeah. But I I would like to apologize for for the terrible terrible light lighting lighting here because I'm using a, just a smartphone to light up this thing because in my apartment there isn't any proper lights if I've turned off the smartphone you won't be able to see anything so yeah the mid-range is just yeah mid-range the treble here is a bit in my opinion the treble here is a bit it's okay but it's a bit grainy it, you have that distinct graininess of the uh, treble region of the B Valve so much. It's a bit drier in presentation also. The mid-range is also a bit drier in presentation. It's definitely very V-shaped sounding, so it's you, ha you have that little bit of elevation in the treble region. So yeah, I guess I guess that's it for the treble region. I don't have a lot of a lot of things to say. It's not it's not that it's not that type of sibilant type of like sharp type of sound, but it's it's definitely a bit grainier in the presentation. For the um, sound stage, I think they have a very good, actually good, good, good sound stage in my opinion. They're okay because they're they're, they're good because a lot of shit here is not that good because this is, this is actually good sound stage. A very wide, it's not very wide. It's, it's quite wide. It's noticeably wide and it's noticeably deep also. You can you can have that 3D space here, which is actually what BGVB does greatly, and it has quite a nice soundstage depth, like a lot of BGVB IMs. But yeah, detail retrieval I would expect a bit more from like seven bounce how much IMs, but they're okay, I guess. They're better than C Audio Yumi's, definitely. They're a bit better than the. For acoustics, uh, STG2 Plus. I don't know because of the the nature of this. I am um, detail just seems a bit more difficult to gauge. I guess because of the lack of texture in the in the in the, in the base region and the, in the B8 hammer that would could probably falsify the perception of detail. So yes, I guess that's that. Um, the s separation, layering, etc. is just average. I don't think they do a lot of things very well. They they do they do things like okay. They do things like okayly. <laughs> yes. 
against com for comparisons against the L4, I think they have. Oh yeah, the co yeah, they they have crap crap coherency also, and the transient is kind of whack. They they have the distinct B8 timbre here, and then the very distinct dynamic driver type of boominess in their in their base region. So you you might want to take a note to that against the L4s. I think the L4 is a better tuned. It's it's a it's a more coherent presentation. It has that uh, mid-range straining type of BA timbre here, not so much in the uh, the, uh, the NS9s, but uh, it doesn't have that graininess up top in the um, L4. It's not as grainy, as not noticeably BA as in the um, NS9s. So yes, yeah, just simply a well better tuned. I am the sound stage. They are quite. This is this is quite a, a bit wider, but the depth is about similar. Detail retrieval is not very different. So yeah, I, I would just pick the better tune and better coherent L fours, which you can turn them into V shaped IMs if you're gonna like turn off. The second switch, so yeah, turn down the second switch, it becomes a V shape. I am against the blessing twos. Don't compare these to the blessing twos, fucking suck. Yeah, it's just a blessing twos nature of killing other IMs. So, yeah, if, if you if you want to buy these, if you don't care about the drawbacks they have, they are just actually a very Okay sounding I am if you don't care about their drawbacks. They're they're definitely still a contender. I guess Though for my person for my personal taste. I definitely would not Want to buy or wear these for a prolonged time Yeah, I guess that's it for the video video. See you next time Godspeed